In Alexander Ostrovsky's play translated as, It's a Family Affair, We'll Settle It Among Ourselves, the playwright delves into the intricacies of familial relationships, societal norms, and the pursuit of personal interests. Set in the merchant class of 19th century Russia, the play explores themes of greed, betrayal, and the struggle for power within the family unit. Central to the narrative is the character of Bolshov, a wealthy merchant who is embroiled in a dispute with his nephew, Khrushchev, over an inheritance. Ostrovsky portrays Bolshov as a shrewd and manipulative figure who prioritizes his own financial gain above familial bonds. Bolshov's relentless pursuit of wealth leads him to exploit and deceive those closest to him, including his own family members. Through Bolshov's character, Ostrovsky highlights the corrosive effects of greed and the breakdown of traditional values within Russian society. The conflict between Bolshov and Khrushchev serves as a microcosm of larger societal tensions between the old and new orders. Bolshov represents the entrenched establishment, clinging to outdated customs and practices, while Khrushchev symbolizes the rising generation, eager to challenge the status quo and assert their independence. Ostrovsky uses their conflict to explore the clash between tradition and modernity in 19th century Russia, shedding light on the changing social dynamics of the time. At its core, the pay is a critique of the moral decay and hypocrisy prevalent within Russian society. Ostrovsky exposes the corruption and moral bankruptcy of the merchant class, revealing the lengths to which individuals will go to protect their own self-interests. Through the character of Bolshov, Ostrovsky illustrates the destructive consequences of unchecked ambition and the erosion of ethical values in pursuit of wealth and power. The title of the play itself, It's a Family Affair, We'll Settle It Among Ourselves, encapsulates the insular nature of the conflict and the notion of resolving disputes within the confines of the family unit. Ostrovsky suggests that the pursuit of personal gain often takes precedence over familial loyalty and solidarity, leading to fractured relationships and unresolved tensions. The title also underscores the theme of secrecy and manipulation that permeates the play, as characters scheme and connive behind closed doors to further their own agendas. Throughout the play, Ostrovsky employs sharp dialogue and vivid characterization to bring the world of 19th century Russia to life. He deftly captures the nuances of social interactions and exposes the underlying tensions simmering beneath the surface of polite society. Through his portrayal of characters like Bolshev and Khrushchev, Ostrovsky offers a scathing critique of the moral and ethical decay of Russian society during this period. In conclusion, the play by Alexander Ostrovsky is a compelling exploration of family dynamics, societal norms, and the pursuit of personal interests in 19th century Russia. Through his portrayal of characters like Bolshev and Khrushchev, Ostrovsky delves into the complexities of human nature and exposes the moral decay and hypocrisy prevalent within Russian society. With its sharp dialogue, vivid characterization, and biting social commentary, the play remains a timeless examination of the corrosive effects of greed and the struggle for power within the family unit.